Hi, Danny here from vhix411.com. Today I will show you a little video about uh, Toyota. This one is a Toyota Corolla 07. A common problem on Toyota and Lexus is ECU would uh, throw a transmission code and it will not ship properly. I've seen actually some with a VAP uh, issue. So the ECUs do go uh, bad on these, fail often. And when you do replace one of these, you get one from a junkyard, the car will not start. I have a video, uh, actually several videos. One of them, some of the older ones, you can actually swap the EEPROMs from one to another. That will swap the VIN number and that will also swap the immobilizer information. On some newer ones like this one, it has a processor. You will not be able to swap the EEPROMs. Uh, processor is super hard to uh, swap, so don't even try. Uh, I have a video on how to program. What you do is just install a new or a used DCU in the car, 30 minutes. Uh, you'll have to short out uh, OBD. And uh, 30 minutes later, the ECU will be programmed to your car. The mobilizer will be programmed. It will start the car. Now, the VIN number on this, uh, you will still have to write the VIN because you will not pass the DEQ. So, since I already programmed the computer, shorted it out if you do need to know how to do that go to vhix411.com and there's a video ECU immobilizer program otherwise once you've done that get the VIN number you will need a scan tool to program this one is a snap-on so pretty simple nothing fancy you will go to VIN read write and once you're programming uh, it will not program if the car is running so when it says ignition on make sure it's in the ignition on I already did the programming of this VIN number but I will show you that you can just read off the VIN matches my VIN now it's good to go otherwise when you do VIN read and write it takes a while and then you just push VIN right and then obviously it gives me a good current VIN uh, you just say yes and then enter the VIN so thanks for watching uh, like my video subscribe comment